Peace. What is this? American Heritage Dictionary. Let's go over some words real quick. So we know Jesus is a Greek name. It really means Jason or Iosis, which comes from Yahshua. Right? But what does the Christ mean etymologically? Since we know Jesus is just a person, is Jesus the Christ? What does Christ mean etymologically? All right, let's, work. let's go. Let's see. Christ. First definition, the anointed. The Messiah. As foretold by the prophets of the Old Testament, Jesus. See. See, it's Jesus is after the anointed. Okay. As in, it is a later title applied to Christ. But anyway, Christian science, the divine manifestation of God in Christian science, get it, which comes to the, to the flesh to destroy incarnate error. Hmm, I thought that was interesting since we think Jesus is so nice. He, he came to destroy fuck ups. But anyway, used as an oath, Middle English, Christ, Old English, Christ, Latin. Christus, from the Greek, Christos, the anointed one, from Karen to anoint, right? So we can go to the, to the, to the etymology of this, but as you can see, it means to anoint, okay? So let's go to anoint, because, you know, that was, that was the first definition, and as you can see, everything comes from Greek. Which means to anoint. Christos, which means to anoint. Hold on, from Karen to anoint. Yeah, okay. All right, now, let's go to anoint. All right. Anoint. To apply oil, ointment, to a similar or a similar substance. Put oil on a sign of sanctification or concentration, consecration in a religious ceremony. Middle English, anointing, old French, in, in Audre. Past principle enote from Latin in Eugara in upon Eugara no younger smear okay so it always goes to so, so it goes back to smear anoint All right smear all right so let's go to smear. To spread or dub that right there. If you go look into the book um, Ancient and Modern Britons, you're going to see a whole bunch of people was called something the dub. But anyway, with sticky grease or dirty substance to stain, blah, 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 defeat, smash. A mark made by smearing. Hmm? Spot, blah, da, 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 da. Attempt to destroy, da, 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 da. Middle English, smearing to anoint. Right? So we're back at Christ. To anoint, right? Cover. Oh, English smear. Now you see smear. Now, if anybody knows the etymology video of M E R, smear. Let's go to the back. Smear. Three. Grease. Smear three. Remember it was smear three. Go back and look. Alright, now you know three was added to two. Which was added to one, which is also myrrh. Oh, do you get it? Mourn. Mm. Me more. <laughs> Norse memoir, a giant who guards what? I ain't even read this. Oh, memory. Mm. Look at there. Also, myrrh, see? Blah, 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 blah. But see, now when they bring it to the Christ, because smear, they take that myrrh out. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> well, they can't hide it because it comes from that. It's come from that. I, you know, I already told y'all what myrrh is. You know what myrrh is. Right? So do you get it? Christ is the anointed. The anointed is the smeared one. The smeared one is the more. You get it? Christ 
It's the moor. Or the moors. The light bringers, people. So, etymology gives you the truth. This cat on, <laughs> this cat on Google Plus said, I told him etymology. Now, we ain't black etymology. Simple. He talking about just because it got an ology on the end, don't make it science. <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. Cho smart ass. <laughs> I forgot about that point. Yeah, but Cho, anyway, yeah, you see, I get to the end. Book rag in the hole. Yes, sir. Because it gets used. Anyway, peace and love.